Hello friends, I'm Naishik from blog2.com and today I have a great thing, an awesome thing to share with you. Today I have a chat or a support plugin that I want to share with you guys. Now this is not just any regular ch chatting or you know support plugin that you will find on the WordPress directory. This is something really amazing, really unique. This thing has some really amazing and unique features that no other plugins in the market offer and everything is for free. So this plugin is absolutely free. Most of the features or almost all the features that are, you're going to see in this particular video is free. Now let me show you a few of the really amazing features that is present in this particular plugin. First of all, uh, when you install and activate this plugin, you'll see this beautiful icon at the right hand side. You can obviously make this thing at the left hand side. You can change the color and everything. Now this is sticky. This is uh, this will stay with you whether you scroll down, you do anything. You, it, this thing will stay with you and stick with you. When you click on this, you'll see all this chat that is going on. So I am already I was already chatting with the person. You will see this that person's image name or, or maybe the operators or the administrators name and image. You will see this icon. Okay, so basically what you can do, you can even change the color of this particular plugin because if you, you can change and you know set it according to the design of your website. So this is the first thing. The second thing is to operate this plugin, you get a nice and really awesome dashboard so this thing is not using your wordpress website for the dashboard thing so this is really amazing because if this dashboard was present on your own website you know it would have been really bad for us because this thing would you know utilize the resources of the hosting which is not a good idea it will it might even slow down your website so this dashboard is available on this on different website which is a good thing now, as you can see, uh, when you chat with this thing, when you type in something like hello, let's type in hello. As you can see, a new message is received. Hello. And everything is, you know, on time. Everything is live. Everything is on real time. Okay. So it's not even a single second delay. Everything is real time. Now, let me show you the most important part of this particular plugin. And that is the process of automation. So when you click on this pl uh, play button, you'll see this thing automation plus bots. So you can use bots, you can create different bots, you can create different automation steps that will be really useful for different purposes. For example, there are a few pre-built bots over here, for example, for lead generation, if you want to get a phone call, you can set this thing. So as you can see here, uh, whenever a person visits your website, they will automatically get a message. Would you like us to call you and they'll get two message? Yes and no. If they select yes, a different thing will happen and we have to set what will happen. I'll show you everything how we can set these things. OK, so for example, if they select yes, for as you can see in this example, they are selecting yes. And after that, they'll receive a message. Sure thing. What's your phone number? Then they will type in their phone number. And after that, we'll send them. Thanks. We'll give you a call as soon as we can. And if they select no, we'll select what happens if they select no. OK, so it's all up to us. For example, the, we can just end the conversation or we can send some different message and something like that. You can use that to you know promote different discounts and so on. For example, whenever a person visits your website, you can promote them some discounts or there are many different, you know, uh, triggers, we call them triggers in this example uh, that will. Uh, so, for example, one trigger can be whenever a person visits your website, this thing should show up. The other trigger can be whenever a person is trying to leave your website, this message will show up. So there are a lot of things going on. If you want, you can use the pre-built ones. For example, if you want uh, to place an order for enhancing the communication to welcome a new visitor, whenever a new visitor visits your website, for example, you can see in this image they'll see this message hello there welcome to our store let me know if you need any help or uh, whenever you have a returning visitor you can show them these messages now if you don't want to use any of the pre-built message uh, messages or pre-built bots or automations you can create your own automation from scratch i'll show you how to use both the pre-built one and how to use one from scratch so this this is a really amazing plugin. I hope you will find this video helpful. Now before proceeding further, I would highly recommend you guys to click on that red subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so they don't miss any future videos. If you like this video, give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Now let's get into the video. 
All right, guys. So for this example, I am going to use this website, nayashik.com. So first of all, we'll have to install that plugin. So it's quite easy. Go back to your dashboard. Now, if you don't know where is your dashboard, how to go to your dashboard, you simply have to type in your website name, put up forward slash type in WP hyphen admin, and you should be redirected to this page. This is the dashboard page. Now from the left hand side, you'll see this plugins, how are that and click on add new. Now in the search bar, type in TDO, T I D I O. We have to install this one TDO live chat. This is by TDO limited as you can see the icon. This has got more than 180 uh, five star ratings, which is amazing. Now, once you install it, you have to click on this activate button. This has also got 40,000 plus active installs. That is amazing. All right. Now, once that thing is done, once it's installed and activated, you'll see a new option at the left hand side, this studio chat. Click on that. Now, if you, this will ask, ask you if you already have an account with TDO or if you want to create a new one. So we'll click on this, create a new account. Let's see what happens. All right. So you have to select the uh, you know, most important thing that is for you, whether you want to use the automation plus bot, that is the most important thing for you on your website or maybe the live chat. So for me, both are important. So I'll take both of them and click on continue. Now here you have to style this thing, uh, how this chat box would look like. First of all, the name of the operator or the administrator will come. So I'll type in my name over here. Nayashik, as you can see, uh, everything is happening live. You can see the live changes. Nayashik is now present over here. Now you can also enter or just upload your avatar. So let me do that. Let me upload my image. It will also replace this thing. As you can see now, my image is showing over here. You can change the color of this thing. So my website, uh, maybe for, for my website, the second one looks good. So I'll select the second one. Now click on continue. Make sure to do your website address is proper over here. Now put in the email address. So I'm going to use this email address for this example. And country is India for me. So I'll select India type of business. I'll select blog and click on uh, by first of all, we'll have to tick mark this and click on continue. Now, once you do this, you'll receive a mail from TDO that mail will have your password. So make sure to see that thing. Okay. Now this is the dashboard and this is our website. Now let's go back to the main homepage. Let's see. We should see that. Uh, icon as you can see the icon is now present now when you click on this uh, we get this welcome message hi there welcome to our website ask us anything now if you want to change this welcome method uh, message or welcome or uh, get started message you can do that easily let me show you how you can do that so you have to come to your uh, dashboard now again if you do want to come to the dashboard of this chat you'll have to go to tdochat.com slash panel you'll come to this page now if you want to change the look of this thing or the color of this thing and all the content, the get started message, you can click on this thing, which says class uh, channels from the left hand side, the fourth or fifth one, click on channels and you'll see these options. Now, suppose if you couldn't change the color in the previous step, you can change it from here. For example, let me change this to this red color. And if you want this to uh, move to left hand side, you can select left. And whether you want to display this on both the mobile phone and desktop or only on mobile phone or maybe only on desktop, you can select that from here. Now, if you want to hide this chat when you're offline, you can uh, take mark this. So when you're not online, this thing will not show up. So you can do that as well. Now, if you see, it says over here, we reply immediately. And that is the reason. Uh, the reason is because we are logged in. Okay. The reason is because we as an administrator are online. So as you can see online status, it will say we reply immediately like in this case as well. Now when you're offline, it will uh, rather say we typically reply within few minutes and they'll receive a, a message like this. We are currently uh, we are currently unavailable. We'll get back to you when our, one of our operators is able to respond. So you can change these messages. It's quite easy. All right. So this is how the box would look like. Now this is the get started option. So click on this and from here you can change whatever you want in the get started thing. So this is the get started option. Now instead of hi there, maybe let me change. This is just to show that you can change it from here. Hello 
just hello okay welcome to our website so instead of our website i'll type in welcome to uh blog to dot com ask us anything or maybe not us ask me anything all right so this i'm just showing you that you can do these changes now let me click on save let's come over here let's refresh it right now as you can see this message uh, color is now changed now it is at the left hand side and all the text is changed hello welcome to blog com ask me anything we reply immediately all right and you can do some more changes for example uh if i if i just type in hi or hello from here you can see the chat has initiated and we get a message as you can see we have under conversations we have two uh, notifications which means there is two uh, messages already going on now if you want a pre uh, chat survey which means that before a, the chat should start or initiate the user must fill in their name and email address if you want that you can select this thing pre chat survey make this enable and you can change the message if you want and select what all details you want for example i want the detail of name so i'll select name and click on add i also want their email address so i'll select this and click on add all right you can see an example over here now let's click on save come back over here let's refresh this page now let me try it again hi now as you can see when i try hi nothing happens they are telling me to first introduce myself so now i'll have to type in my name let me type in some different name john doe email address email at gmail.com click on ok now as you can see when i click on ok now my message is showing ok now let's go to conversations and here you'll see all the message like john doe is online uh, uh th this person has sent me a message hi you can see their email address their details everything over here now if you reply to them like hello how can i help let's see now as you can see everything is happening in real time we got this message hello how can i help and when you just type something uh here in this side as you can see you'll see john doe is typing okay so this is also a cool feature which means that whenever someone is typing you will get to know that someone that person is typing and when i type something over here as the operator you will see that the operator is typing you can you can see this thing okay so quite amazing thing now if i want i can use the emojis i can attach some file as well so this is how you use the chat now we have some more options okay now when you click on this play button automation plus bots this is from this is the place from where you can create automations and bots or you can use the pre-made or the pre-built bots we'll see both the options first we'll see how to use the pre-built one and after after that we'll see how you can use a you know a custom one which we can create from scratch all right so for example i'm selecting the second one order of phone call bot so i'll select this thing and click on this add button now as you can see it says your automation has been saved successfully now we can click on this ok and you'll see this thing now this is how the automation looks like now if you don't understand that don't worry uh, let me explain you this so this is the trigger first of all at the top now if you don't want to do any changes uh, for because i'll explain you this when we are creating the uh the uh, bot from scratch you'll understand it much better if i you know explain you this right now and again if i try to explain you when we are creating a, a bot from scratch you'll get confused so we are not doing any changes over here we can simply click on save click on save and activate on your website and how should the launcher look like so first they'll have a launcher for example this is a launcher and in this launcher they'll get a button which says get started when they click on get started that bot which we have just created in the previous step will start so this is the bel welcome message as you can see uh hi i am a bot working for the nayashik.com so i'm going to change this thing working for the blog dude all right nice to have you on chat you have this image if you want to upload some different image if you want to change delete it you can do it from here choose one of the options below or write a message to reach our staff if you want to change some text you can simply click over here and do that now if you if you if you like this thing if uh, if this thing is final you can do some more changes for example if you want to uh 
change some different messages for example go to operator message our rep representative will contact you within uh, the next couple of minutes if you want to ch change this text you can do it easily and when the chat ends what message they'll see is there anything else i can uh, do for you select one of the options below and write a message i'll send it to our staff okay so you can customize this message according to your choice now once you are done make sure to tick mark this thing live chat and click on save all right now as you can see it says all set visit your website to test your bo bot so let's come over here and refresh this page all right maybe let me do one thing let me open this in a new tab that will be much better so i'm opening this in a new incognito window let's see how it looks all right so as you can see this is the uh you know get started message would you like us to uh, call you if i select yes please uh, I get a message sure thing what's your phone number let me type in some random number and click on send now as you can see I got a automatic message thanks we'll give you a call as soon as we can so this is quite amazing now when I leave this conversation uh, you can get a different message for example read this you can read this conversation and all those options are available so this thing is working all right so the automatic thing is working now let's see how we can create one from scratch so again let's come back over here and select this one create your own bot or automation and select this create a new one from scratch now you'll see this option simply click on this add button now first we have to select a trigger so trigger basically mean, means that when should this process this automation thing start so we have some options over here for example first visit on site so if i select this thing as you can see this is now present on your screen you can move it here and there so whenever a person visits your website this thing will start if you want to change the trigger you can just delete this from here and you can uh, select something else for example uh, you can also click on this thing or may maybe let's select this one move uh, mouse leaves window so whenever the person is trying to leave the window this thing will trigger or this thing will start okay so you have this option as well so uh, maybe i just like the first one uh, first visit on website because i want this for all my visitors so whenever a person visits my website this thing should start and you have to s select a reason why you're doing this so for example my reason is just to collect leads is just to generate leads okay uh, generate uh, email address and phone numbers i just want to collect people's email address and phone numbers that is the reason i am doing this thing okay so first of all i have selected a trigger that whenever a person visits my website this thing whatever i'm going to set right now should start after that we have to select an action so i'll go to actions and i'll select this one make a decision i'll drag and drop this thing over here all right now what i'll do is i'll uh, set two options now i'll send them a message uh, something like this would you like to take a closer look at our offers so i'm offering them something and i'll give them two options yes and no if they select yes uh, i'll show them the offer if they select no i'll uh, just end the conversation and say thank you okay so select this thing click on this and type in the text which you whatever you like so i'm typing in this thing would you like to take a closer look at our offer button one says yes please and button two says no thanks all right now we can cut this thing now we have to link this so you have to you simply can click on this dot and drag and drop it over here all right now as you can see whenever i move this thing i'll see this connection so this is now connected to this one now we have this uh alert over here you already have an automation which uses this trigger to send a message and that is because we are using this automation the uh, pre-built automation but we'll fix that thing don't worry all right so we have this thing uh, we have a trigger we have an action so whenever a person visits your website they will get a message what would you like to take a closer look at our offer and they'll get two options yes and no now we have to select what happens when a person selects yes and what happens when a person selects no let's see that so again uh, i'll select this thing make a decision and i'll drop this thing over here so this is when a person will select the yes button okay so i'll send them another message which says 
Great. In that case, could you provide your phone number or email address so that we can get in touch with you? And in the first option, I want to give them the option for email. And the second option, phone number. Now I can cut this thing. Okay, now I'll link this with this one. And as you can see, okay, let me see, not yet linked. So I have to simply click on this dot, bring it and connect to this dot. And I have to select whether this is connection for yes or no. So this connection is for yes. So when they select yes, this should uh, this thing should trigger. Now what should happen when they select no? Let's do that. So I want to send them a simple message like so select this thing, send a chat message. And you can type in anything like I'm, I'm just typing in all right. If you need anything, let us know. OK, and now let's connect this thing. So bring this dot connected to this. And as you can see, no thanks is selected. So when they select yes, they'll get this message. When they select no, uh, they'll get this message. OK, now let me click on this save and click on yes. I'm sure give it a name. So I'm giving it a name of lead generation now. May uh, just remember that this is not yet finished. I'm just showing you uh, the incomplete version. So let me come over here. Let's refresh this website. OK, so we have this option over here when you click on this. OK, let me do one thing. Let me open this in a new incognito window so that we have everything properly. Alright, as you can see, whenever we, we have just visited the website and this thing has now triggered, would you like uh, to uh, would you like to take a closer look at our offer? Yes, please. Now, great. In case, could you please provide your phone number or email address so that we can get in touch with you? I'm selecting email, but nothing happens because we have not said what should happen when a person selects email or phone number. So let's do that step. Let me cut this thing. Come over here. Again, go to automation plus bots. Now click on this manage and you'll see this option lead generation that we have created. Make sure to select that and click on edit. Let's add it, edit some more things on this one. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to decrease the size of this one. And let me bring everything over here because we are going to add some more things on this one. Let me decrease the size to 70. All right. Fine. Now the person has two choice. They will have to select the phone number or the email address. OK, so let's add some more uh, actions. So select this, click on action and select this one. Uh, we, let me search for that. Select this one. Ask a question. Now for the message, I want to type sure what's your email address. So this is for the email address and validation select email. And uh, this will validate whether the person, whatever is, uh, whatever the person is typing, whether that matches the email address format or not. For example, something at the rate of something.com. So that is the format for email address. If it matches, that's good. If it does not match, uh, they'll get this message. Oops, it, it does not look like an email address. And again, you can change these messages. Now you can tick mark this thing, save the answer as a variable. Select this thing and type in email. You'll get this option. Select this one. All right. So this is done. You can cut this thing. So this is for the email one. So we can now connect these two. So let's connect this with the one and make sure email is selected. As you can see in the middle, let me zoom in a bit. As you can see in the middle, email is selected. Now let me add another one. Uh, ask question over here. This is for the phone. And I'll type in sure what's your phone number in the validation. I'll select number and for the for this option, save the answer as a variable. I'll select phone. All right. Now we can cut this thing and now let's connect these two and make sure phone is selected over here. All right. So what will happen is when a person first visits on the website, they'll see this option. Uh, uh, which we have seen that this is working. Would you like to take a closer look at our offer? If they select yes, uh, they'll get this option. Uh, whether you want to get the uh, offer on email or phone. All right. So we have this option. And now let's select what happens when the person selects email and what happens when the person selects phone. Now I'll select this one. Send a chat message. I'll drag and drop this thing over here and I'll 
uh, type in the message all right we'll contact you as soon as we can all right so what we can do is now we can connect this with this one success as you can see oh uh, when i connect this with this dot you can see it says success so whenever this thing is successful whenever the person clicks on that button they'll receive this message now i'll do the same with this one all right success as you can see because uh, whether they select the phone or the uh, whether they select the phone or the uh, email address it's all the same thing they'll get this message all right we'll contact you as soon as we can and once this process is done i also want to send a notification to the administrator so that they can see that or they can know that a new lead has been generated so let's see how we can do that so we can select this thing uh, notify operator Okay, we can drag and drop this thing over here and I'll type in a message a new lead has been acquired and I'll link this with this one. All right. So when this process is completed, the operator will receive a mail or a um, notification that a new lead has been acquired. Now, let me save this thing again. Click on yes, I'm sure. Now, let me open this in a new incognito window. All right, now let's try it again. Would you like to take a closer look at our offer? Yes, please. Uh, great, in case, in that case, could you please provide your phone number or email address so that we can get in touch with you? So maybe I'll select email address. So uh, sure, what's your email address? So I'll type in some email like email at gmail.com. Click on send. Now it says, all right, we'll contact you as soon as we can. So this process is all done. Let me cut this thing. And as you can see, I have a notification. Let's click on this and let's select this thing. As you can see, I have a notification. It says a new lead has been acquired. Okay. So this thing is all working. Now, if we want to see how this particular, uh, whatever you have created, this particular chat is working, how this particular bot is performing, you can click on this automation, click on manage. You'll see this lead generation, whatever bot you have created, select that. You'll see the results of that one. For example, now, as you can see in this uh, analytics, you, you can see that this thing triggered two times this particular month. And one time we were able to acquire the lead or we were able to acquire the email address. You can see this thing over here. So you can you know see the progress, how it's working, whether you should do some changes or not. All right, guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I, th I personally found this plugin really, really helpful. This was a really great plugin. So I hope you find this video helpful. If this video helps you, give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you soon.